water sprouts up on busy city streets. And roads are buckling up as the force of water tries to break through the concrete. Warmer weather brings a whole new round of water main breaks. Because the expansion and contraction of soils as they get wet and dry and hot and cold puts a lot of pressure on those buried pipes. And we do bury our pipes deep enough that they're not affected by a frost line and that sort of thing, but, but there's still a lot of soil movement because we have a lot of clay soils in, down here in the river valley. Bob Bledsoe is with the city of Tulsa. His computer list of water main breaks throughout the city continues to pop up new locations for work crews to make repairs. One of those locations is at the shopping center. Here, Ken Johnson says he got the call last night that there was a problem. And there was water coming up. Uh, with it, probably within a 300 foot radius coming up with every crack in the driveway and in the sidewalks and, uh, and, and in the grass in places too. It didn't take long before crews were on the scene and found the broken eight inch pipe eight feet underground. Now they're making all of the necessary repairs, which are expected to be done by this evening. But even when they do get the water back on for the nearby businesses and homes, Johnson says there will still be a big mess to deal with. You can see some of this ice has uh, started to thaw out and underneath the ice is the, is the mud that, that actually was pushed out of the ground by all the water. So yeah, we're going to have a, a muddy mess when this is all done to clean up. And as city crews continue to make the rounds to all of the reported breaks, Lozo says the winter spike is not yet behind us. There are two times a year when we see a big increase in the number of water line breaks. We get four or five breaks year in, year out, almost every day. In January and February, when the temperatures get down in the single digits, and often when they start to warm up out of the single digits, we see big increases in the number of breaks. City officials are encouraging anyone seeing what they think is a leaking water line to report the leak to your local city office. For the Oklahoma News Report, I'm Angela Rosecrans.